Next we ran into Dave Brown, of course, my good buddy from England, and we went and looked at an old Ludwig set, vaudeville type, trap table, temple blocks, just what we both like to collect. Look at this. You'll love it. This is, oh. this is right up my alley right here, man. Look at this. Now get this. I have this at home. A guy, I bought this for like 400 bucks, right. okay? But it's got the early, un, it's got the tapped, get. it's got the tapped ones, okay? Yeah. But this is in beautiful shape compared to what I have to try to do to mine. Um, this, is, this is pretty cool. I'm loving it. Now, is this something you would ever consider, being that you're a Slingerland guy, pretty much, but I mean, does that interest you? I do have the exact same set of Ludwig and Ludwig in oh. White Marine Pearl with a, a 5 by 14 Super that I got from Bunny several years ago, and funnily enough, it does have the same scene on the front same of the base. Same thing. That was the, well, that one and also the log cabin scene are probably the two most standard right. Ludwig scenes that you do see. Yeah. This but, is in fantastic shape, and the fa uh, he didn't really touch. There's usually a, a fourth and a fifth uh, temple block. Yeah, the temple blocks were sold in sets of five. Yeah, but I mean, his bar is in great shape. I, yeah. I have probably seven sets of these at home, okay? Yeah. And all in various stages. Uh, and I hesitate to do that much work to him. My, a lot of the problems come from doing the metal work, yeah. you know, and trying to re-nickel things. And, I can do it, but uh, it's very time-consuming and costly if I don't want to do it myself. What I like, what I like to think about, especially with the hardware, if it was nickeled or chromed originally, I don't see anything wrong with re-nickeling or re-chroming because the process 60 years ago is exactly the same as the process today. Yeah. So in my mind, you don't de detract or deteriorate anything from the value of any of those sets by getting the hardware re-chromed or re-nickeled. Gold plated, that's a different story. That's another kettle of fish, don't touch it. With this particular set, you say you have this set. Was there a name, a model? <coughs> is this, is this uh, a complete model? Not, I don't, my set doesn't have a model, uh, not to my knowledge. It was just a two piece set. Okay. Just a standard Ludwig and yeah. Ludwig issue. Do you think this has been redone, the felt? Although uh, we, we uh, have modeled, no, that looks original maybe, actually. Maybe the felt looks original, maybe it's just not had a lot of work. I'm seeing a little bit of like moth holes and things okay. like that, but that's all, that makes it, that adds to the vibe to no, it. No, Ludwig and Ludwig, Ludwig table is slightly different than that. Uh -huh. it, it isn't uh, wooden rimmed, it mines metal. Okay. But the same principle, and the blocks mount on the front of it. What year? Late 20s. 20s, late, late not 20s. 30s. Late now, 20s. are these the tap lugs or are these? They, I, I'm not sure if they have inserts or not. I don't think those have inserts. I think they're similar to the Radio King lug, where they screw straight into the actual nut box. But again, I'm not a Ludwig. Lug, I'm not an expert on Ludwig and Ludwig. Right. Speak to someone that is. <laughs> but these are in beautiful shape. Oh, it's everything. Nice shape. I mean, yeah. he's got, I don't know if he, you know got them ready just for the show, but everything is good. I mean. You don't have a lot all of... All these alarms, all the brackets and little yeah. accessories are even more hard to find than the actual drums themselves. That's right. You could spend 25 years looking for the accessories to build the actual set that took you two or three years to find the drums. It's all here at the Chicago Show 2011. We're going to move on. We'll be right back. <laughs> 